What's up everyone? Today we're going to be going over Leak Code 605. Can place flowers. Pretty much what the input is going to be is a array of zeros and ones where zero represents <coughs> an empty spot and one represents a flower. Now, the question asks is can we plant this many, the n number of flowers such that every spot has every flower has at least one z space between another flower. So this one would be true because we can put a one one flower here. This one would be false because after we put one, we can't plant any more. Now this solution I'm going to go over it comes from the Leak Code Solution tab itself, so you can check that out. I want to just go over it and understand a little bit better and explain it. And now the trick to this is that. As we go along, we actually plant, we actually set zero to one, which implies that we're planting a flower in a empty spot. So, int count, let's just call it count, is zero. So, for, and we'll loop through for int i is equal to zero, i is less than ar dot length. I plus plus if a r of i is not equal to zero is not equal to one yeah that means it's empty and and we are either at the beginning or there is no flower right behind it i so i minus one or a r of i minus one is not equal to one and we're not same thing but on the flip side are we at the edge or is there a space next spot over i plus one where n would be int n is equal to a r dot length or a r r i i minus one uh, plus one is not equal to one then what we can do is we can plant this to be one and if so we can increment the count plus plus And once we're done going through everything, we check if count is greater than or equal to the n. Return count greater than or equal to n. And that's how you can solve Leak Code 605.